Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. In the diagram, points A, B, C and D lie on a circle with center O. EA is a tangent to the circle at point A. Angle EAB is given as 61 degrees and angle BAC is given as 55 degrees. Now we have to find out four angles. That is angle BAO, AOC, ABC and CDA. So let us start solving them one by one, starting with angle BAO. So let us see where it is located. So it is over here, that is angle BAO, this angle. Now to find out this angle, we are going to make use of the radius tangent theorem. Now here we can see that OA is a radius and EA is a tangent. And the radius tangent theorem states that the radius always makes 90 degree angle with the tangent. So angle EAO is completely 90 degree. And out of that 90 degree, the 61 degree is taken out by angle EAB. So this angle, that is the remaining angle BAO, is going to be 90 degree minus 61 degree, which is going to be equal to 29 degree. So here angle BAO we got it as 29 degree by using radius tangent theorem. So let me write here. So angle BAO is 29 degree by using radius tangent theorem. Now let us look at the next question that is find out angle AOC. Now let us see where is this angle AOC. So we see that it is over here that is angle AOC. We need to find out this angle. To find out the angle of AOC, we are going to make use of a circle theorem which is given as alternate segment theorem. It states that the angle that lies between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. Now let us try to understand what the statement is. Now we can see that AB is a tangent because it touches the circle at only one point which is at B and we have two chords over here which touch the tangent that is one is the chord BC and the other one is chord BD. Now if we consider the chord BC it divides the circle into two segments one is the minor segment and the other is the major segment that is the larger part of the circle. So here the small section of BC is minor segment and the larger section of the circle is major segment. Now according to the given theorem if the chord makes an angle with the tangent in the minor segment, for example x, then the same chord is going to make an angle x in its alternate segment that is major segment. This also holds true for the other chord. Now the chord BD divides the circle again into two segments. So this part of the segment becomes the minor segment and this part becomes the major segment. So if this chord BD makes an angle of y with the tangent in the minor segment, then the same chord is going to make an angle Y in the alternate segment that is the major segment. Now let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here to find out the value of angle AOC, I am going to consider the chord AB and the tangent EA. And according to the given theorem, the chord makes an angle of 61 degrees in this minor segment. So the same chord makes an angle at point C in the major segment. So if the chord has made an angle of 61 degrees at the tangent at this segment, then angle C is also going to be 61 degrees that is by using alternate segment theorem. Now once we have found out the angle BCA, we can consider the triangle ABC. Now we know that the sum of all the angles of the triangle should be equal to 180 degree. So we can find out the angle B by subtracting angle 55 and angle 61 from 180 degree. So to find out angle B, let us do 180 degree minus 61 degree and minus 55 degree from the triangle ABC. Now this is going to give us a value of 64 degree. So we got the value of angle B. Once we have found out this angle B, we are going to use another circle theorem to find out angle O. So let me explain that circle theorem. Angle at the center theorem. It states that the angle at the center of the circle 
is twice the angle at the circumference of the given circle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with center O and it has two points on the circumference that is A and B. Now according to the given statement, let us make an angle at the center of the circle by using these two points which are on the circumference. Now the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle and let us name it as point C. The theorem states that the angle at the center is going to be two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. For example, if we take the angle at the circumference as 40 degree, the angle at the center is going to be exactly two times the angle 40, that is 80 degree. So here if we take 50 degree, it is going to be 100 degree. So let us see how we can use this circle theorem to solve the example above. Here let us consider the points A and C. Now these two points make an angle at the center of the circle at point O. And the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point B. So using the theorem that is angle at the center is 2 times the angle at circumference. So here it is 64 degree at the circumference. So at the center it is going to be exactly 2 times 64 which is going to be 128 degree. So here let us write angle AOC as 128 degree that is by first using the alternate segment theorem then using the angle sum property of triangles and finally using the angle at the center theorem. Now let us move on to the third one where we have to find the angle ABC. So here we have already found out the value of ABC when we were solving the big question. So here we have got the value of ABC as 64 degree and we got this angle by using the angle sum property of a triangle. So let us write here. So 64 degree by angle sum property of the triangles. Now let us look at the last question that is finding angle CDA. Now the angle CDA is over here so let me mark it. So CDA this is the angle we have to find and to find this angle we are going to make use of another circle theorem which is given as cyclic quadrilateral theorem. It states that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degree. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and I have drawn a quadrilateral inside it and it is called as a cyclic quadrilateral because all the four vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circumference of the circle. Now according to the given statement, the opposite angles add to 180 degree. Now here we can see that opposite to angle A is angle C which means that when we add angle A to angle C, it is going to be equal to 180 degree. Similarly, we can see that angle B is opposite to angle D. So when we add angle B with angle D, they both also add up to 180 degree. So let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now here in this circle, we can clearly see that A, B, C and D make a cyclic quadrilateral because all the four vertices are on the circumference of the circle. And we had already got the value of B as 64 degree. So opposite to angle B is angle D. So to find out the value of angle D, we are going to simply add angle B and angle D and it is going to be 180 degree by using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. And angle B, we have got the value as 64. So 64 plus angle D is going to be 180 degree. Or taking 64 on the other side of equal to sign, we are going to get angle D is equal to 180 degree minus 64 and that is going to give us a value of 116 degrees. So the value of angle CDA is going to be 116 by using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. So this is how we found out the values of these angles by using the circle theorems. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving these angles then do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.